What's up guys, Tektine here and I am back again with a brand new video. Welcome back to the channel. Quickly, I want to thank everyone for subscribing to the channel. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and consider subscribing. It's down below. Also, if you want to keep up with me, follow me on Twitter. I'll leave my username right here and a link in the description. Follow me there. If you have any questions, I can answer them over there. Or if you just want to hang out on Twitter, um, you can definitely do that. So yeah, enough plug. Let's just get straight to the point of this video. So in this video, we're going to be unboxing the Blue Studio J8. Maybe it's been a month now, but talking about uh, a similar phone to this, uh, a similar design to this phone, but that phone kind of lacked specs. And this phone also kind of lacks specs, but it adds an another it adds a cool feature, which is a fingerprint scanner. So yeah, let's just take a look at it. First of all, this box actually looks pretty cool in my opinion. It has this like shiny type of red accent to it. And I didn't get the black version. I'll show you what I got. So on the back, you get your specs, which again, I mean, this looks really cool in my eye. I don't know. So here are the specs. We have a 5.5 inch HD curved glass display, a 1.3 gigahertz quad core processor, 1 gig of RAM, um, I'll come back to this, an 8 megapixel camera, a fingerprint sensor, a 5 megapixel camera, front facing camera with LED flash, Android 7.0, and a runs 4G HSPA+. Now, for the 1 gig of RAM, if you want, actually, um, I'll leave a link to, I'll leave a purchase link below if you actually you guys are interested. This is not a sponsored video or anything like that. But I'll just leave a, uh, there's an option where you can get actually 2 gigabytes of RAM. It's like 10 to $15 more. So the reason I got this version is because I wanted to, I want this phone to be a sub $100 phone. Um, I don't know, all right, but uh, my suggestion is that you spend the extra 20 bucks and get the two gig two gigabytes of RAM. Uh, it will it will make the phone run much smoother. So yeah, let's open up the box and take a look at what's inside. All right, so here's the phone. The phone actually looks pretty cool in my in my opinion. I think design wise, for uh for a sub hundred dollar phone, you get your fingerprint scanner right at the top. Uh, the positioning uh, seems natural for this phone. And it is made out of metal. The top and the bottom is plastic just for the, uh, for antenna purposes and Wi-Fi chip and whatnot. And you get your speaker at the bottom. And on the right hand side you get your power button and your volume up and down. Pretty cool. Um, the power button is actually textured for better uh, so you can tell the difference between it and the volume up and down. And on the front you get this plastic piece that also runs through the specs. Uh, you get your front facing flash, your 5 megapixel camera. And then over here you do have your 8 megapixel uh, rear facing camera. So let's see what else we get in the box. So you do get a case which is pretty cool that Blue likes to include. So which is pretty cool that Blue includes that. Your charger, uh, USB cable, let's see. And a screen protector and the battery in which really the battery is the only thing I kind of need right now. So let's power it on. Put the, all this extra stuff to the side. That's not what you guys are here for, I hope. And yeah, there's your unboxing. Nice. All right, so I got it. I put the battery in. I went through the setup process and all. And here's how it looks like. And it's a pretty smooth experience, as you would expect from Android 7.0. So yeah, uh, first of all, the wallpaper. The wallpaper actually looks cool. In terms of display, I think the display is actually pretty okay, pretty decent. Uh, it's not a really a 1080p panel, but 720p is fine for the average consumer. What Blue is really trying to aim at is design over specs, which is cool. Some people might like that. Some people are actually, some people like to show off their, the design of their phone. Now, one thing I am disappointed at is one, this only has micro USB and um, you do actually get uh, the legendary headphone jack, so thumbs up for that. But yeah, so it does have micro USB, not really USB-C. And in 2017, it, to me, that's kind of, I don't know, everyone may kind of made the, made the move to USB-C, even budget phones. So yeah, uh, so open, like I said, opening up like the phone app, it, it's, a, it's quick, it's smooth. Uh, and again, you gotta thank Android 7.0 for that, except... Um, let me open up the camera, take a quick picture of the box, and I mean, I'm, I am going to be doing a full review, so if you're not subscribed, you should consider subscribing if you want to see a full review of this phone. This is really just the unboxing and impressions. And, okay, so the camera interface is actually, wow, okay, so it's actually clean, and it's, it's fast at switching modes. Okay, so let's take a picture, 3, 2, 1. 
okay? Okay, so the picture quality from what I can see, I think uh, to my eye, uh, it, it kind of likes sharpness and detail. But I mean, I guess it's just one picture and it's in one condition. So maybe if I test it out outside in a good light, in a better lighting condition, maybe I'll get better results. So yeah, and the front facing camera, you do get a LED flash. Pretty cool. So this phone actually has some potential to it. Um, like I said, I mean, it's not really the fastest phone in the world. And it's not the best display in the world, or even the best design in the world. Actually, the phone is actually kind of slippery. So I do recommend to if you're actually interested in if you're actually interested in purchasing this phone to go ahead and put a case on it. It, it is slippery. Okay, so let me give you guys a quick test of the speaker. Let's open up. Well, let's open up the YouTube app. Okay, it's as loud, it's as, loud as it gets. Okay, so you can mug, so you can kind of muffle the speaker if you put your finger to it, or if you just set it down on the table. Um, so uh, the speaker is it's all right. It sounds pretty good at highest volume. It's just really not that loud, but it's good. Not not a lot of distortion, so it's decent. I wish it was a little bit better positioned and a little bit louder, but that's what you get for a sub one hundred dollar phone. And yeah, I mean this was really a quick impression. Today I'm gonna be making a full review of this phone. So if you're not subscribed, like I said, I mean go ahead and subscribe. And yeah, it would actually I would I would really I would greatly appreciate that. And yeah, so let me let me end it here. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.